Hello dear friends, welcome to the Nerdskin YouTube channel. In this video, we will see some important selected questions. Medical surgical nursing is one of the selected questions. Special questions for coming aims and Kerala PSC, DMA examination. There are special questions. If you are interested in JPHN, you will see this video. If you are interested in this video, you will see the channel. If you are interested in this video, you will subscribe to the bell icon. If you are interested in this video, you will see the first question. A 50-year-old male client comes to you and says, I have a doctor who is going to be a doctor who is going to be a doctor who is going to be a crushing chest pain, radiates to shoulder and left arm, diagnosed myocardial infection. Doctor advised chest x-ray, ECG, morphine IV. The nurse should first. Options obtain 12 lead ECG, administer morphine, lab work, order chest x-ray. Pingin ni lah cowok dinggalu, radisi kya. Apo iu client tu andiri kena anbu tu biasa. The crushing chest pain ni, the shoulder like, left arm like, okay. Anda ni kari angin ni lah, war pain ni, mikor MMI ari. Doctor, elang orang ni cipar ni. Nurse ana hati kudu kena. Pada pada parahnya adalah nerd sangat ini korang kena administer morphine. Awalnya pain, awalnya korakia ni lah, na, banyak important dia itu kerja. That is the priority management. Pia pain, ia administer morphine administer je, itu pain korakia mahal, lah. Pain ni korakia mahal, lah. Sehingga barangnya morphine de darm. Makarul oksigen demand korakia. Oksigen demand client ni heart ni lah. Oksigen demand korakia mula ada automatik lah itu. Pain korakian. Jadi klien ini heart ini lalu oksigen demand ini korakian. Anu morphin chain. Morphin korakum pun, amala IV ayat slow IV korakana. Ayat 5 ml sterile water laga dilute ayat slowly within 5 minutes sila anu korakian. Otherwise respiratory depression, respiratory arrest akan lagu. Pertama direct korakian ni ayat. Ini korakian ini murni ayat. Amala respiratory rate je kian. Ayat 15 ml korak anangil. 15 ml korak anangil. Vitol je kian. Korak tu samai dega. रेस्पिरेटर रेट नॉर्मल आयनी शेषम मात्र में कोड का वालों नॉर्मल रेस्पिरेटर रेट पंद्रह डोटी इरिवा तो वैरी है ना इरिवा तो वैरा ब्रीथ पर मिनट जाना अपो चेक रेस्पिरेटर रेट आधे ले कोरा वाले के लिए फिजिशियन ने इनफॉर्म चाहिए ना लेस दन टेन ना किया ना कि रेस्पिरेटर रेट � Pilih orang morphin injection kau dah tahu, nama kita monitor je, kan? Respirator rate, kerana ada korang yang boleh kerja ni, ada fizikal yang inform je, itu overdose ok, anak ni morphin overdose ok, ini boleh ni naloxone, naloxone ni, ni lagi narkan, ni barai, ni antidote ok, kau dengar, morphin ni, morphin antidote ni macam narkon, lagi naloxone, so that is the antidote of morphin. मुझे सेकंड क्वेश्चन लेके आऊँगा सेकंड क्वेश्चन डी नॉन मॉडिफाइबल रिस्क फैक्टर्स फॉर हाइपरटेंशन इंक्लूड और एक्सेप्ट ऑप्शंस एज जेनेटिक फैक्टर्स ओबेसिटी सेक्स मैं नॉन मॉडिफाइबल है ना और एक बार नमक मार्टन करिया तर रिस्क फैक्टर ऐसा क्या आना ना कर्ज़ आंसर ओबेसिटी आना ओबेसिटी Explanation, Obesity, Risk Factor for Hypertension This is non-modified, we have to talk about the age, sex, genetic factors, ethnicity, race We don't have to talk about it In sex, we have to talk about the male in the middle age We have to talk about the risk of menopausal females We have to talk about the risk of menopausal females उदिम डाना जेनेटिक फैक्टर्स से 45 परसेंट हाईर रिस्क इन चिल्ड्रन में तो टू हाइपरटेंस टेंसिव पेरेंट्स अरे अंडर वैरियम हाइपरटेंसिव वाइटला पेरेंट्स और नेगले आवेरे ना कुंजिंगल को ना अनोला चांस हो गोड़ा दराने इतने सिटी हाईर इन ब्लैक कम्युनिटीज मोडिफाइबल नाम को मार्चन करेंगे ना � so, let's go to the third question. Third question. Which of the following arterial blood gas value is most suggestive of respiratory acidosis? Respiratory acidosis in the right letter is suggestive of the value of the respiratory acidosis. Respiratory acidosis. Respiratory acidosis is the pH of the pH. That is the carbon dioxide of the pH. The pH of the pH is the option first. The pH of the pH is the correct. pH 7.3, PSH, partial pressure of carbon dioxide 50 mm of Hg. Now, we have to say that we have to say that 
acidosis refers to an excess of an acid in the blood that caused the pH to fall below 7.35 and alkalosis refers to an excess of base in the blood that causes the pH rise above 7.45. Now, 7.35 is pH and 7.45 is alkalosis. Acidosis is alkalosis. Respiratory alkalosis occurs when you breathe too fast or too deep carbon dioxide levels drop too low. We learned hyperventilation change. We learned shots. We learned yoga. We learned shots. We learned hyperventilation. We learned shots. We learned shots. This causes the pH of the blood to rise and become too alkaline. Respiratory acidosis is a condition that occurs when the lungs cannot remove all of the carbon dioxide the body produces. The lungs in maximum carbon dioxide respiratory acidosis. Okay, third question. The nerves will evaluate for the most significant complication. In patients undergone chronic peritoneal dialysis, which is options pulmonary embolism, hypotension, dyspnea, peritonitis. Correct answer is peritonitis. So, most significant complication in patients undergone chronic peritoneal dialysis that is peritonitis. Okay, the details on no Peritoneal dialysis is a type of dialysis which uses the peritoneum in a person's abdomen as the membrane through which fluid and dissolved substances are exchanged with the blood. So, peritoneal dialysis is uh, peritoneum and uh, membrane I to use in which fluid dissolved substances are exchanged with the blood. It is used to remove excess fluid, correct electrolyte problems and remove toxins in those with kidney failure. Kidney failure or electrolyte problems, fluid, fluid. Uh, waste to materials okay uh, remove chair material dialysis method of working the most frequent and important complication of peritoneal dialysis catheters is infection catheter infection undaga, which may result in catheter loss and discontinuation of peritoneal dialysis so the main problem infection ana adagoda adanyana peritonitis nu nammal uddeshikkunnu so next question thrombophlebitis is a common complication following vascular surgery which of the following signs indicates that a possible thrombus has occurred? Options Kernig sign, Haggard sign, Hohmann sign, Gudzinski sign. Now, we will talk thrombophobitis in the number of Hohmann sign and thrombophobitis is positive. Hohmann sign is positive. Hohmann sign is positive. Hohmann sign is positive. Thrombophobitis is suspected. So, and then Homan sign. Homan sign, pain in the calf of the leg upon dorsiflexion of the foot with the leg extended. That is diagnostic of thrombosis in the deep vein of the area. A Homan sign positive argue uh, deep vein thrombosis in the manus lacta. Hegel sign, it is demonstrated as a softening in the con consistency of the uterus. Softening of the uterus or cervix seem to be two separate regions. That is Hegel sign. It has a manus lacta. So next question, you are teaching Kegel exercise to a female patient. Her understanding of this exercise is correct when she states that. Correct answer, this exercise will reduce dribbling of my urine. Kegel exercise is the pelvic floor, pelvic area, pelvic area strength and acting exercise. So, this axis will reduce dribbling, a urine dribbling, correct, 
കറക്റ്റ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെന്റ് ആണ് എന്താണ് കെഗൽ എക്സൈസ് കെഗൽ എക്സൈസ് സ്ട്രെങ്ത് ആൻഡ് ദ പെൽവിക് ഫോർ മസിൽസ് വിച്ച് സപ്പോർട്ട് ദ യൂട്രസ് ബ്ലാഡർ ആൻഡ് സ്മോൾ ഇൻഡസ്ട്രി ആൻഡ് ഡക്ടം ആ ഒരു സപ്പോർട്ട് ആ ഒരു മസിൽസിനെ സപ്പോർട്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നതാണ് യൂട്രസ് ബ്ലാഡർ സ്മോൾ ഇൻഡസ്ട്രി രക്തത്തിലൊക്കെയുള്ള ഒരു മസിലിനെ സപ്പോർട്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നത് യു ക്യാൻ ഡു കെഗൽ എക്സൈസസ് ആൾസോ നോൺ ആസ് പെൽവിക് ഫ്ലോർ മസിൽ ട്രെയിനിങ് പെൽവിക് ഫ്ലോർ മസിൽ ട്രെയിനിങ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നതാണ് കെഗൽ എക്സൈസ് തന്നെയാണ് Next question. A patient is in liver failure. Which of the following behavioral changes is the most important assessment to report? Option shortness of breath, lethargy, fatigue, nausea. For liver failure or a patient, important assessment number report is lethargy. Lethargy we have to uh, report. Next question. Which of the following clinical findings indicates that the patient is experiencing hypokalemia? Options edema, muscle spasm, usmal breathing, abdominal distension. But the correct answer is muscle spasm. So, hypokalemia is muscle spasm. Common at the end of the day. Our muscle teaches, uh, muscle cramps or weakness, muscle that will not move. Paralysis evolve, abnormal heart rhythm, okay. hypokalemia evolve. Easy changes including flattening and the inversion of the T-wave. T-wave inversion on the day. QT interval prolong, prolongation evolve. That will evolve visible U-wave evolve. and mild ST depression hypokalemia le kaanavunnathan so next question which of the following positions is recommended for a patient with nasal bleeding ningal ariyunnana nasal bleeding endra nammal avaru bleeding ullappo nammal sitting up uh, with head slightly leaning forward ഇങ്ങനെ മുന്നോട്ട് ചാഞ്ഞിരിക്കുക സിറ്റിംഗ് അപ്പ് വിത്ത് ഹെഡ് സ്ലൈഡ്ലി ലീൻ ഫോർവേഡ് ആ ഒരു പൊസിഷൻ ഇരുന്നിട്ട് തല കുറച്ച് മുന്നിലോട്ട് ആക്കിയിട്ട് ഒരു ഒരു പൊസിഷനിലാണ് നമ്മൾ സാധാരണ നാസൽ ബ്ലീഡിങ് ഉള്ളപ്പോൾ ആ ഒരു പൊസിഷനാണ് നമ്മൾ മെയിൻറ്റെയിൻ ചെയ്യേണ്ടത് സോ വി ഡിസ്കസ് വിത്ത് അഗെയിൻ ടെൻ മോർ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ഫോർ ദ കമ്മിങ് എക്സാമിനേഷൻസ് താങ്ക് യു ഫോർ വാച്ചിങ് പ്ലീസ് ഷെയർ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ ഓൾ ദ ബ